or Terrence or Candace. You're all special people, very, very special people. And uh, you're doing something very important. I don't even know if you know, maybe you don't know. And, you know, sometimes you're so into something and you, you just don't really feel how important it all is. What you are doing is so important for your community and for this country. We will renew the values that unite our people as one America. As one team, we will build up our nation. We will lift up our forgotten communities, and we will defeat any threat. We will beat any challenge. We will overcome every obstacle, and we will achieve a glorious future of American greatness beyond our wildest dreams. And that's what you're doing. To everyone here today, keep up the great work. And I just want to say, from the bottom of my heart, God bless you, God bless your families, and God bless America. President, and I know we have a political warfare right now, but I strongly believe that it is a spiritual one as well. And I want to make and I want to make sure that I mean I know that Americans are going to wake up and we're going to get back to looking to God instead of social media, and we're going to look back to Jesus because Jesus saves, and this country was founded upon the the Constitution was build on godly principles and we're going to fight for that and I just want to encourage you guys to pray every single day for this nation. I want you guys to pray and pray and pray. Um, I am from Ethiopia. I live in a very beautiful city named Valparaiso, Indiana. Mike sends you. I know you're from Indiana and I have strong, strong people um, who are able to raise me and I love God and I'm, I want to pray <laughs> real quick. All right. I don't know if you guys want to bow your head. Okay. All right. Dear God, I'm not really good at this, but um, I just want to say thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to be in the White House. Thank you for giving us a great leader like Trump, Mr. Donald Trump. And I would like to thank you for um, waking up our nation. God protect us. God protect our president as he's going through so much right now, so much scrutiny. God, I believe that you were, you gave him to us, and I believe that he's going to accomplish so much more. I know you have more for us. Jesus, I ask you to protect us and walk with us. <laughs> um, and in Jesus' name, the enemy tries to attack us every single day. He tries to discourage us, but he has no room. He has no room, no more. And that's all I have to say. Oh my God.
What's up? I'm Ice T. All right, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, I'd like to get all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakadash. Like I say, double honors to my apostles, great millstone and rule well. Like I say, peace and salutation to the whole elect that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. All right, this is Shaka Bar with another lesson. Prayer for Trump, President led woman take over the mic to pray. Look, man, our people is gone, man. Our people is totally, they totally out, out of, out of the, out of the equation, man. You know how the fuck. Excuse my language, man. How the hell are you gonna pray for the devil, man? Esau. You know what I'm saying? So it, 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 our people our people need to get destroyed, man. You know, and the, the first thing, the first the first video when it first came on, um <clears throat> Yeah, President hey, hey, you know, DJ Trump, you know, he he's right. He, we is a special people, according to um Deuteronomy seventy six. He right on that. You know what I'm saying? We are special people above all people. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> as the as the video continue, man, saying that he's uh you know, uh, God bless America, you know what I'm saying? Um make America great again type slogan. And, and the future of America there ain't no future in America, man. Lord can take this place off off the off the earth, man. All right? But um I ain't gonna rant too long. I'm gonna go to the scriptures real quick. And I want to tell you about Acorns. All right, it's an app that makes it easy to. Let me skip this stuff, man. Name him Ice T. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go to the scriptures real quick. And uh, real quick, man. You don't pray for the devil, man. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say you pray for one another. You know what I'm saying? Israel. You know, we pray for one another, man. All right. And then and right here, Ephesians 6 and 18, it says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. All right. You're supposed to be in the spirit to pray one amongst one another, man. You know, it says, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Now, my question is. Who are the saints, man? All right? Who are the saints? Esau ain't no saint, man. You know? He the devil the Bible speaks of, man. So you praying, you praying for you you praying, you praying to your father, man, uh the devil. Okay? You praying, you praying to the wrong God, man. You know, that's Eve, man. She the nigga woman, you know, she don't know no better. All right. It's Ephesians back in Ephesians 6 and 18. It says, praying always with all prayer supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Now we're gonna go, we're gonna go to um Psalms. Psalms 119 and 148. Psalms 48 and 14 it says this. I'm going to start at 13 and say, Let them praise the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Shai, for his name alone is excellent. All right? His name is not Jesus Christ, man. All right? If you look up in the Hebrew, you know what I'm saying? The Lord, all right, is it, really Yahweh. All right? It says, Let them praise the name of the Lord, Yahweh, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. All right. He also exalted the horn of his people. You know, so the Lord exalt exalt us, man. You know, to be the be be the most you know the high the the most uh, special people. All right. It says the praise of all saints, even of the children of Israel. Now, the children of Israel are the saints, man. Not Esau. All right. Say a people near unto him, praise you the Lord Yahweh. All right, I just want to bring the scripture out because this, I want to prove who the saints are, man. All right, you don't, you know, I mean, you, you praying, you know, what I'm saying you praying, you praying to Satan, you praying to Esau. Esau don't believe in God, man. All right, he don't have no type of um 
You don't have no type of um, spirit. You got spirit of Satan, man. You know? All right? Because, you know, our people, man, our people is, is, is stupid, man. You know, our people don't have no type of knowledge, don't have no type of, um, you know, no, no wisdom of themselves, man. All right? They don't know, they don't, they don't really don't know what this about, man. They don't know that they're going to be thrown in concentration camps. All right? They don't know, they don't know it's going to be famine. They don't know it's going to be race wars. None of that, man. They think, they think America's going to keep striving and thriving, man. No. All right? <laughs> this is Jeremiah 4.22. It says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are Sadish children. Okay? Sadish means stupid. All right? Impulsive. All right? Our people are impulsive, man. They're very stupid because they pray, they, they, they gather around Esau, all right, just to be loved, man. Okay? They they foolish. They don't know Yahweh Bashim Shai. Say, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. Of course they don't know Yahweh Yahweh Shai, man. Cause you got you got the brothers, the prophets, man, on the, on the, on the corners, you know what I'm saying, pushing this word, man, truth, and you never know they might be scoffing, you never know, man. You say, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, right? That you just seen was evil, man. All right, you trust in the shadow, you you trust they trust in the shadow of Egypt. That's evil, all right. You believe you believe in Esau's um way of life, man. All right, y'all, 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 um, y'all doing evil. Y'all wise to do evil, man. But to do good, they have no knowledge. So you, you Jake's don't have no knowledge to do good, man. All right, y'all don't have no good. Y'all don't have no good spirit on this side. That's why the Lord called y'all foolish, man, and sottish children. All right, y'all, y'all sheep is y'all, y'all none but sheep led to the slaughter. And, and I got a scripture for this, 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 the nigger woman. All right. Give me Job. Let me give me Job. Um, let me get Job 39, 17. It says, because the most high hath deprived her of wisdom, neither have he the part of her understanding. She don't know. She don't understand how to pray. She don't understand how, um, how the system going, man. All right. She don't have no idea that the that the that the um that the uh, um that Esau's the damn devil, according to the scriptures, man. All right, he said because the Most High have deprived her of wisdom. Look up the word deprived. Forget, to be forgotten, to cause to forget, goes back to the Hebrew word nasha. All right, to cause to forget, allow to be forgotten. All right. So the Lord, the Lord, the Lord must, the Lord um, make their mind forget. You know what I'm saying? Who they really are, man. Okay? They deprived of wisdom. You know, that's a curse. Okay? All right? They don't have no wisdom, man. She don't have no wisdom. She says, she said, I'm not good with prayer. If you would have been in the truth, you would have been part of, you know, part of, uh, you know, part of the truth. You would, you, you would understand prayer. All right? You read the book of Esther, man. She was praying. All right? You read the book of Judah, she was praying. But the nigga woman of today, man, she, they, they, they deprived of the wisdom. Okay? They, they, they don't have no type of wisdom, man. No. They 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 sought as children, man. Our people sought as children. I'm gonna go to Psalms. <laughs> you pray for your own people, man. You don't pray for Satan, man. You don't pray for Esau, man. Alright? This is Psalms 58. <laughs> Psalms 58 and 3. It says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Okay. So, what Trump said out of his mouth that America is going to be, you know, a uh, 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 hair future. All right. They're going to they're gonna challenge anything. Okay. You know, they're going to they're gonna make America great. All right. That's speaking lies, man. That's a lie because the Lord said Babylon is falling. All right. And 
And furthermore, the Lord don't like the Lord. The Lord hate Esau because ain't no way in hell that you praying for you praying for uh you praying for Esau to make this country better, to make him better. The Lord's not dealing with Esau at all, not whatsoever. All right. He said the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be as soon as they be born, speaking lies. All right. Esau been speaking lies for the past hundreds of years, man. Making this, making this time to make this place better, okay? No, uh, um, give all the people um, um, the rights and needs and wants and shit. No, nah, man, Esau is selling y'all a, a wolf ticket, man. He's not, he, he, he's not gonna make this place great, man. This place ain't gonna never be great, okay? The Lord is bringing this place down, man. He set it off kingdoms and bring it down, man. All right. So they speak. So so Esau speaking lies, man. That's a lie that these this place is gonna be um <laughs> this place gonna be back built again. You know jobs and stuff like that. Ain't no damn jobs, man. Look at the economy. All right, the economy is bad. So 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 Esau is strange from the womb. Speak and they, and they speak lies, man. All right, can't believe Esau. What Esau say, man? You can't believe what Esau be saying, man. Okay. We gotta go by the actions, all right? Because our people is lost, man. They don't have no type of no knowledge, no wisdom of this place, man. They don't know what's gonna pop off. None of that, man. They just believe this place. They're trying to rebuild this place. They're trying to keep this place going. The Lord's gonna bring this place down, man. Okay. I'm gonna go to Romans <clears throat> nine and thirteen. Just be a quick hit. All right. Romans 9 13 said it is as as it as as it is written, Jacob have I love, Esau have I hated. So why the Lord say he ate Esau? And you praying for Esau. Esau you saying she praying that saying uh 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 protect protect um protect Trump and you know and all man look the Lord is not going to protect Trump, man. The Lord is not gonna protect Esau. All right, why he say this then? Why he say he he hated Esau, all right? If the Lord hates you, he's not gonna protect you. He's not gonna have a um a, a, a hedge over you, man. He only loved Jacob, okay? Jacob is the so called black slaves and Native Americans, all right? Esau is the so called white man, all right? So how you gonna pray? How you gonna pray to? How you gonna pray uh for Trump? How you gonna pray for the white man anyway? And 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 and, and the Lord said Himself, He hated Esau, man, all right? That's one scripture I want to bring out because the Lord is not dealing with Esau, not whatsoever. Okay. Now, this is my last scripture. And I'm going to close out. I'm going to go to Revelations 18 and 1. All right. It says, and after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mighty. With a strong voice saying, "Babylon the Great is fallen." I right, who what is who is Babylon the Great? America, okay. Y'all chant USA, USA. Y'all chanting it, but the Lord said this. It says he and he cried mightily with a strong voice. Y'all trying to make Salakia. Y'all trying to make this uh, place, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you trying to make up this place America great. All right, you can't make this place great again, man. All right. The Lord said, the Lord said in the scripture right here, it said, and he, he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon, the greatest fallen is fallen. And it come and it became the habitation of devils. OK, so after this place be destroyed, it's going to be all type of creatures on this on, on this place, man. All right. It's going to be desert creatures, man. Bolo dragons, um, iguanas and all that stuff, man. All right. After this place get hit with nuke, thermonuclear missiles. This gonna be a this 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 place ain't gonna it's gonna be nothing but a desert, man. All right, it's a Babylon the Great is falling, it's falling, it's falling, man. It ain't being great, it's falling. All right, and it's become the habitation of devils and the bowl of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Okay, so after this place get destroyed, it's gonna be a lot of desert creatures. On this land that you call America, man. Okay, y'all chanting USA, USA. 
This place is falling, man, like the scriptures say. Okay, the Lord gonna bring wrath on this place, man. And a nigga woman, she praying for uh Esau, praying for praying for Satan. That's not gonna work, man. All right, and you saying Jesus, that's not his name. His name's Yahweh Shai. All right. So yeah, man, um, our people, man, they they <clears throat> they're 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 a lost cause, man. They done, man. All right. So with that, man, I hope y'all was edified. Until next time, shalom.